Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Ask Pastor Keith. Uh, Pastor Keith, how are you today? Doing fine, how are you? Good, good, yeah. awesome. Well, today's question um, mm-hmm. is, should Christians support slash vote for politicians who are pro-abortion slash socialists? What should be the most important stance Christians look in for, for a candidate? Yeah, uh, there is no simple answer to this. Uh, it is very complicated. Um, I think abortion uh, is very important uh, part of uh, decision mm-hmm. for, for uh, Christians because it has to do with uh, sanctity of life uh, that Bible talks about. It's very important. Nevertheless, it cannot be the litmus test for the whole person and his or her uh, decision-making ability uh, to lead uh, lead our society. Mm. So it cannot be just one uh, test, then you know, pass or fail kind mm. of thing. Socialist is another uh, element. Mm. Uh, socialism uh, is. Uh, I'm gonna spend a whole lot of time explaining this later on. Another maybe um, you know another session. Mm. Uh, but socialism is based on the idea uh, that what we call unconstrained vision of life. Mm-hmm. Um, that uh, I, I think is Thomas Sowell who wrote The Conflict of Visions. Mm-hmm. And in it, it talks about unconstrained vision on human life. Mm-hmm. That means um, that human beings are like a clean canvas that whatever program we put it in and we will live in such a way. Uh, that's kind of a naive, idealist uh, view uh, of life. Mm. Uh, and h- the history is filled with data points that, that you know, disapprove uh, that kind of approach in life. Nevertheless, socialism is based on that. Uh, it, they, it takes us as an angel, so to speak, uh, work uh, according to your ability and take according to your need Sounds wonderful, mm. but there's a sinfulness here, mm. and there is, you know, this uh, corruption and greed and all that. That's part of life. Mm. You cannot program that out of human life. Mm. People tried many times. Mm. It hasn't. It's just, history uh, shows us that there's a constrained vision. That is, that more realistic. That in in everything in life, uh, we need to trade off against something. Mm. So in order to get to greater uh, benefit, we need to give up some of the things. Mm -hmm. There is no perfect condition or situation. Mm -hmm. Socialism, therefore, assumes that human beings can be socially engineered to behave in a certain way Mm -hmm. uh, and and to do that. So when there is a Bolshevik revolution in 1917 in in St. Petersburg um, in Russia, Mm -hmm they thought they could program Russia men to be altruistic, mm. caring for good of others, you know, equal uh, to their own. Mm. Uh, look at how they behave now. Mm. You know, that is impossible. Yeah. Uh, Hitler, Nazism, same thing. They believed in such, you know, purity and mm. ideal setting. And because they are not assuming our sin factor, and we, apart from God, that that ideal cannot be reached, mm-hmm. right? So, um, constrained vision is more like more realistic, because in order for us to get to a certain point, then we have to trade off certain things. That's that's life, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If you want to pass uh, with a good grade at school, you have to give up some of the partying, and, and uh, you know you go to bed earlier, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, and such thing, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to lose weight, stop eating that much. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that is a part of our life, mm-hmm. uh, and um, so uh, socialism is, is a dangerous concept mm-hmm. because it's anti-biblical. Mm-hmm. Because it has no, um, you know, uh, provision for sin mm. uh, and the weakness of man mm. and the wickedness of man. Mm. Uh, so um, that that I'm more concerned about, yeah. and that's why there are a lot of things that we are putting into program and policies mm-hmm. that are based on those ideas. We can engineer and and twist man's arm, mm-hmm. and we'll behave, uh, and we'll stay there. 
Uh, and I think it's Th- Thomas Sowell said, we are not wooden blocks. You know, you, you, you make the ro- rule and then let them stay. They are not going to stay there. Mm. They still have the heart, the desire to provide better for their family yeah. uh, and uh, better their lives. Mm. Uh, there, there is that desire and you cannot, you know, change that. Mm. That's human nature. And uh, therefore, uh, I would say socialist is entirely different ballgame. Uh, than than the uh, abortion, a uh, person can be abortionist, pro-abortion, uh, and uh, you know not a socialist, uh, but socialist usually is pro-abortion because mm. they can engineer our society. There's a no regard for God. There's no room for God in their mm. in their worldview, and so I would think that will be more dangerous. Uh, and uh, further away from Christian values. Mm. But the caveat is this, politicians religion, you cannot really trust, Yeah. right? Mm. And what they say and what they actually deliver is totally different ball game. Sure. So it needs wisdom and um, you know, a lot of prayer. Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the insight, Pastor Keith. And mm. you know, I hope that through this, that it'll kind of give us an awareness and you know, really, help us uh, even pray for our politicians currently. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, Pastor Keith. And uh, this concludes this episode of Ask Pastor Keith. Uh, please t- tune in next week for another episode of Ask Pastor Keith. Bye, everyone.